What's up everyone? This is your host Fezan Parsa back again with another tutorial. In this tutorial, in this video, I'm going to show you, I'm going to teach you how to create a split screen effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So watch this video until the end and if you find this video helpful, give this video a thumbs up, click the subscribe button down below and the bell notification button so whenever I post this type of content, you guys will be notified. Let's jump into Final Cut Pro 10. Split screen is a great way to showcase multiple clip at the same time and is commonly used for conversation or even showing multiple angles of the same scene. Now, we have two clips, each shot from a different angle of our subject working on a laptop where you could play one clip after another or you could also show them all at the same time and to do this, we need to layer the clips. First, attach the playhead where our top clip is starting. Disable the top clip. Highlight the clip and press V on your keyboard. Now, highlight the bottom clip and move 10 frames behind by pressing shift and left arrow key. Click on the transformation tool and add a keyframe here, this little diamond button here. And now move 10 frames forward by holding shift and pressing right arrow key. Now resize the clip by holding option key on your keyboard. Double click on this arrow key and choose linear on both arrow keys because we need our movement look seamless. Highlight your top clip and activate it by again pressing V on your keyboard. Click on the transformation tool and add a keyframe here as well. Resize your clip by holding option key on your keyboard. Reposition it until it is out of the frame. Now, move 10 frames ahead by holding shift and pressing right arrow key. Move the clip into the frame again. Double click on this arrow again and choose linear. We need our movement to look seamless. Push play and check the result. As you can see, there is a black bar or a, a, a black window in our uh, in between our clips. We need to fill it. In order to do that, go to the title and generators tab, click on the generator and type in custom generator. Drag the custom generator beneath our two clips like right here go to the inspector tab and click on the generators tab change its color to white or whatever color you like push play and check the result as you can see i slightly made a mistake here in resizing our second clip our top clip but this is just for the tutorial purposes because I'm doing it a bit roughly. I'm not doing it very precisely and I'm sure you will do it precisely. I hope you all like this video and if this video helps you in any way, give this video a thumbs up, consider clicking the subscribe button down below and the bell notification button and also support this channel. See you all in the next video and if you guys have any questions, follow me on my Instagram or comment below and if you guys want me to make a tutorial about something, leave a comment down below. See you all in the next video. Until then, stay safe. Goodbye. Adios. Arrivederci. Au revoir.